Hi, I'm Katie from What Katie Did and I'm working on a series of videos about how to work out the best bra size for you when shopping online. To help us help you find your right What Katie Did bra size, first of all you need to find a bra you already own that's already very comfortable, your, your favourite bra for instance. Now I know some of you don't wear bras and this, this makes it virtually impossible for us to help you because we really need you to be confident in a bra you're wearing and confident about the fitting and how well it fits and how comfortable you are. Unfortunately if you don't wear bras and you have no idea on what size you are you will have to go and get professionally fitted and find a bra that's comfortable for you before you contact us. If we were to simply work with the measurements you give us, then this doesn't take into account your body and how you like to wear a bra, because what might be technically correct in fit might not work for you. For example, several years ago in our London boutique, a lady came in and she'd been professionally fitted by a very renowned bra fitter, and she came in and she said, well, I'm this size, and I was like, well, can, can we try this, this other size? And she said, no, because I've been fitted by X and this is my size. And she said, um, then she went on to say that she was in pain. Her bra was causing her pain a lot of the time. And I, I was like, well, you know, you need to, I, you're, you're taking this bra fitter's advice even when you're in pain. It's like, I, I wouldn't take that from my doctor. So why take it from a bra advisor? You need to listen to your own body and what, what, what you want to wear may not be the correct technical fit, but really it's down to you. It's your body and it's your choice. So once you've dug out your favorite bra, what you need to do is you need to measure your underbust and you need to measure it quite, quite tightly as if you were wearing a bra and I'm doing this over a corset, so it's not going to be it's not going to be correct. But without a corset, my bust measurement comes under bust measurement comes 30 to 31 inches. So this is one of my favourite what Katie did bras, and measuring from the centre hook, unstretched, it comes out at 27. And we do get a few a few of you contact us and say, well, you know, the the under bust measurement isn't the same as the band, you know, the the other band size doesn't measure the under bust. And no, they're they're completely separate. So the the under it measures 27 just 27 inches. And when I stretch it to, as if it would be worn, it stretches comfortably to 31 inches, which is my under bust under band measurement or my under bust measurement. So if I take a look at a few other brands, I have Dita Von Tees, now measuring from the centre hook again. Hers measures, underneath it measures 28, and it stretches to 31, 31 and a half comfortably. And then I've got another bra by Wheat. This is a French brand, Wheat 8, and I thought, I thought for a long time it's Hewitt. I didn't realise it was 8 in French, but I do now. So measuring from the centre hook, that one measures, this one comes out a bit bigger. This is 28 and a half, and it measures when stretched. That will probably stretch, well, 31 and a half. It will stretch to 32, but 31 and a half is probably the comfortable level. Then I've got one by Agent Provocateur here. And this measures, this one comes up smaller, this is 26. It will just stretch to 31, that one. And then I have one by Chantelle Thomas, who is a French designer. And I was in Paris last week and I saw her new collection, which was amazing. So this one, this one comes up 26 and that one stretches 31, 31 and a half. So as you can see, they're all, they're all pretty similar. And I've got my Gossard glossies. Now in the 90s, in the early 90s, Gossard brought out these glossy, glossy Gossard bras and I always wanted one and I couldn't afford one. And a few years ago, they re-released them. So I was like, yay, fantastic. And this one is actually, all the other ones are 34C, which is my size. This one is actually a 32D. And I knew by looking at it through experience that this looks pretty flimsy compared with the other ones so I thought there would be a lot more stretch to it and when you measure it it comes up as 26 and three quarters and it measures 
to 32 so that actually comes up bigger than the other 34 bras and I'm just showing you this because it might be that when you measure your bras in your wardrobe depending on what brands you wear they will come up larger in the bands than what Katie did and the other brands I've mentioned here. Traditionally, you would have added four to five inches to your underbust measurement to get your band size. But over the last 20 years, this has changed. And we now understand that most of the support should come from the band and not your straps. So we are wearing bands a lot tighter than we used to. But again, this comes down to your personal comfort. And there is nothing wrong with wearing a looser band if it's more comfortable for you or a tighter band if you prefer that as well, so which is why, why I've said you need to look at the bras you wear and how comfortable they are and pick out your favorite it and work from that as opposed to what might be technically correct. If you wear a double D plus cut bra then it is highly probable that your band size is the same as your underbust measurements and this is called true sizing. This came this came into effect over the last 20 years but there so at the moment there are two two bra sizing um, levels going on together which does cause confusion. Your next step is to dig out your favorite bra and a tape measure and measure your underbust. If you don't have a tape measure, don't worry, just contact us and we can mail you one. And if you do have any questions, contact us with your measurements and we'll be able to help and offer you advice. So until next time, take care and I'll catch up with you soon.